What's up guys, this is Colin with Kingdom Culture Counseling and today we are going to be looking at the ABC model of Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy. It's pretty much the same thing as Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. It's just they use some different terms. So let's dive into this and we're going to see how the things that are causing your emotions are not the events and your circumstances. It is your interpretation of those events or circumstances. So let's dive in right here. Let's do it. So let's dive into this model. Up here, we've got A. So A stands for activating event. This is something that happens. So let's imagine that you're driving down the interstate, right? And you're on the far right side. And you're just driving. It starts to slow down. It's stop and go traffic. It's a little frustrating because it's rush hour. And all of a sudden, you're driving, and this car swerves in front of you and cuts you off. Now, you've been waiting in line a while to get off on the next exit. So you start to feel a little frustrated, right? So A is the activating event. This is the car swerves over, cuts in front of you, right? Now, let's skip down to C. We're going to skip B for now. C is the consequence of this, and this is the emotion that you feel. So when that happens... A lot of us might feel angry, right? So we get angry and we would say, you know, if someone was in the car with us and they said, why are you so angry? I'd say, good night. Did you see that guy that, that just cut me off? Man, I'm chilling. I'm, I'm waiting. My turn. This guy cuts in front of me. So now I am angry, right? So let's rewind a little bit. Why am I angry? Because that guy cut me off. Well, that's not the truth. The reality is I'm angry because of what I believe about the event. B is believe, right? So the activating event is what happens. Then we believe something about the event which causes us to feel or our emotions to become a certain way. So the reason that I got angry is because I believed this guy's a jerk, he's being selfish, I waited my turn. I deserve to be in front of him. He doesn't deserve to be in front of me, right? Now let's rewind a little bit and let's pretend that this guy just found out that his wife has 15 minutes to live and he has just left the hospital. So he's cutting in front of me. He's trying to get off at the next exit really quick so that he can circle back around to the hospital and see his wife for one or two minutes before she passes away. Now if that's the truth, does that change the way that I feel? Absolutely. If that happens, I am going to be like trying to get this guy there. If I'm at the next light and I see him behind me, I'm going to pull over so this guy can get in front of me. That's a really tough situation. I want to be there for that guy. I want to support him in that, right? I'm not angry anymore. I'd be doing the same thing if I were him. So do you see how the belief about the situation causes the emotion? It's not actually the situation. So we need to start owning that a lot of our beliefs and the way we're interpreting things is causing us to feel the way that we feel. We can't blame it on our circumstance. It's because of our belief. So Alan Beck, the guy that came up with cognitive therapy, when people would say, she made me angry, he would say, really? Did she put a gun to your head and say you have to be angry now? No, we've got a choice in this. We've got a got to interpret these things in a healthier way. So two people can go through the same situation and come out with different emotions because they interpret the situation differently. So that means me and my neighbor may both lose our jobs and he may be really depressed and sad and I may be excited. Same situation, but I may be interpreting this as a chance to move on to something greater. He may be interpreting this as, man, my life is falling apart and I'm going to be a wreck for the next six months. I'm not going to find a job. I'm going to be living homeless on the street and so on, right? It plays out. But the same situation, different interpretation, different emotion response. So thank you for watching this super short video. My name is Colin with Kingdom Culture Counseling. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section. Go ahead and watch my latest video. 
subscribe if you like it, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys next Monday.